CATL have just officially unveiled the real details behind their new Kirin battery. And my friends, I'm here to tell you, it's absolutely going to change the world. I'm 100% certain of that. I'm willing to bet my house. And I've actually found out the real details, which uh, have been hard to find between this battery. Now, there's two versions. There's an LFP version and a standard lithium ternary version. And they both have different energy densities. Now, how do they compare to the current market batteries and why will they change the world? Well, I'll share that information with you right now. And by the way, boy, am I excited by this information. This is, without a doubt, a game changer for the world's largest battery company. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. Now remember we are well the only YouTube channel that I'm aware of that produces around six videos per day with detailed information of what's going on in the electric vehicle industry, the battery industry and the renewable energy industry. Now I'd love to produce more, but realistically there's only 24 hours in a day. It's tough. Now, what about this battery? What is going on? Why is it a game changing battery? First of all, as you know, CATL and Tesla have a very, very close working relationship, very similar to the relationship that Tesla has with Panasonic. So CATL do know more information than we do about the 4680 battery cell that Tesla currently manufacture. Now, supported by their new innovations for this battery, which include a revolutionary new cooling system and structural cell-to-pack technology, this new battery can increase energy density to 255 watts per kilo at the pack level, right? Pack level, not cell level, pack level. That is incredible energy density. That's for the lithium ternary battery. So that's, I don't know the exact chemistry. I would assume something like nickel, cobalt, manganese potentially, but regardless, you get the point, right? The lithium iron phosphate version comes in at 160 watts per kilo at the pack level, not the cell level. At the cell level, you'd probably be looking at closer to 235 watt per kilo. What does that mean? Well, that means lithium iron phosphate battery technology is about to completely change. To me, it's a no-brainer. There is just zero reason to need and will want to purchase the ternary version. Now, 255 watts per kilo is absolutely incredible. But if you have an LFP battery, which is better in almost every way in terms of longevity, ability to charge to 100% and many other ways that I've explained on this channel in detail, then I don't see the need for the other version. They're also much, much cheaper. So what are the details on this battery? First of all, it's coming in early 2023 at a mass production level. Now, this is not some small company. This is not some company that says it's going to do something. This is CATL. They are by far the world's largest battery company. It is a certainty that electric cars will have these batteries in at least minimum Q2 of 2023. What does this mean for the competition? Well, honestly, the competition should be very, very scared. Why? First of all, system integration efficiency of this battery features a volume utilization efficiency of more than 72%. This battery has the world's first large surface cooling technology for battery cells. In addition, it can fast charge apparently in only 10 minutes from 10 to 80%. I mean, solid state batteries, do we really need them when we have this kind of technology? I don't think we do. Add to that, right, this incredible energy density, plus the battery holds 13% more power than a 4680 battery and achieves a significant boost in regards to driving range, fast charging, safety, battery life, efficiency, and low temperature performance. Frankly, this is an absolutely amazing point in the history of electric batteries. And I believe today is a point in history when we'll look back at the textbooks and we'll say, remember that day? Remember when the world's largest battery company upped the game to an entirely new level? That is where we are at. Let's just quickly recap this battery. It sets a new record for volume utilization at over 72%, making it 
making it the most integrated battery in the world today, according to CATL. It's a structural battery pack similar to the pack used in Tesla's 4680 structural packs. Energy density of the ternary battery version at 255 watts per kilo will give many, many vehicles using these batteries a range easily of 1,000 kilometers or more. It's coming to mass production in early 2023. And it has really a revolutionary new heat transfer system. What CATL have done is quadruple the heat transfer area through their world first surface cooling technology. This places the water cooling component traditionally located at the bottom of the cell between the cells. This technology will apparently support a fast hot start in five minutes and charging to 80% capacity in only 10 minutes. In extreme conditions, CATL say the cells can be cooled rapidly, effectively blocking abnormal heat transfer between cells. So with the same chemistry and the same pack size, the new Kirin battery delivers a 13% increase in power compared to Tesla's 4680 battery cell, providing an overall improvement in range, fast charging, safety, life, efficiency, and low temperature performance. Now, one of the ways CATL have, a, have been able to provide such a revolutionary product is this technology. They've eliminated the cross beam, the water cooling plate, and the thermal pad. These were all separate designs. They've integrated them into a multifunctional, flexible sandwich for more efficient system integration. So the battery actually has micrometer bridge connections within the flexible sandwich that flexibly expand and contract to match the cell's breathing, enhancing the cell's full life cycle reliability, according to CATL. Now the integrated energy cell composed of the battery cell and the multifunctional elastic sandwich layer builds a more stable force structure in the direction perpendicular to the travel direction, improving the structural strength and the impact resistance of the battery pack. Now, if you combine this new structural strength, right, with an LFP battery, which obviously this will battery will come in both versions, both ternary and LFP, I think you're going to have really the most fireproof vehicle in the world. Now, keep in mind, CATL dominates the global battery market. They have customers, including Tesla, Volkswagen, and the majority of local Chinese electric vehicle companies, including NIO, Xpeng, and many, many, many other automakers worldwide. In fact, they currently even provide batteries to South Korean car companies, including Kia and Hyundai. In terms of market share, in the first quarter of this year, even with the COVID lockdowns in China, CATL shipped 33.3 gigawatt hours of batteries globally. That's a 35% share of the global battery market. What about in China? Well, in China, obviously they're number one. In May, CATL shipped 8.5 gigawatt hours of batteries in China alone with a 45.9% market share of the market in the country, meaning they hold top position. In second place was BYD. With around about half that number, they shipped 4.1 gigawatt hours for a 22% market share in China. Now, as many of you are already aware, because CATL is the world's largest battery manufacturer, they have more resources available to them to build batteries faster than anyone else at a lower cost. Volume matters. CATL's volume is way bigger than anyone else in the world, and they manufacture pretty much all of their batteries in China. Now, they are building a few factories in Europe, but the majority of their production is in China, meaning they have a tremendous cost advantage over most of their competition. I honestly think that this means solid state batteries are dead in the water. Absolutely have zero chance of being ever economically feasible in any cars other than maybe maximum 1% of the market, meaning sports cars and vehicles with maybe prices of in excess of 250,000 US dollars. There's just no economic feasibility and reason to have them. 255 watts per kilogram at the pack mark is absolutely incredible. Now, CATL don't lie. They're not known for making things up. They don't create information. They don't say they're not going to mass manufacture a battery unless they are actually going to do it. They don't say the energy density is a certain number unless it actually is. They're not lying. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a shareholder of CATL. I would be if I could be, but I'm not a Chinese citizen, so I can't invest in the company. If you can, though, if you are able to invest in CATL, I would be doing that immediately. Now, I can't give recommendations to you if you're in 
Australia on what you should invest your money in. So everyone outside of Australia, if you can invest in this company, now is the time to do it. This battery technology will absolutely change the world. This kind of cost, imagine the cost, right? LFP structural battery packs with 100 with energy density of 160 watts per kilo at the pack mark, that is the perfect battery for about 95% of a global car buying public. And frankly, unless some other company has something similar they're going to launch on the market within the next 12 months, I don't see how the competition has a chance in hell. But that's just my view. I could be wrong. Maybe you know something I don't. Let me know in the comment section below if I'm missing something here. But frankly, I'm scared for everyone else. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.